Hey everyone, Alec again. It's finally here. Guitar Hero 2 Deluxe Custom Edition is now available. With a lot of help from a couple of homies, I was able to make this ISO something very, very special and very accessible to everyone who wants to get into Guitar Hero 2 Deluxe. This video is also going to serve as a tutorial on how to get your customs onto Guitar Hero 2 Deluxe and get it synced up with emulator if that's what you mainly play, like me. So let's waste no time and let's jump into it. So step one, you're going to go into the description and download Guitar Hero 2 Deluxe Custom Edition version 1. Go ahead and download that. It's about 300 megabytes, just over 300 megabytes, and that should take no time at all. Next, you're going to get a program that can open up the RAR format. Which you can use 7-zip, you can use WinRAR. Um, use that to extract the ISO and drag it out into a folder. Next step, you're going to want to double click on the ISO so you can mount it. If you're using Windows 10, it should do this automatically. If you're on an older OS, then you're probably going to use Daemon Tools or something. Make a folder somewhere and call it GH2 deluxe files. The name doesn't really matter. And select all those files and drag them in and wait for them to all move over. And then you can eject the virtual mounted ISO. Next step, if you don't already have Onyx, I have a link to the GitHub down in the description and the release page. Uh, Onyx is what we're going to be using to import our custom songs from Clone Hero and putting them into Guitar Hero 2 Deluxe. Once that's installed for your OS, you're going to open up Onyx and click on batch process. Now stop real quick. If you are playing on emulator, now is the time to open up the emulator and launch the ISO really quick because we need to do something. If you need help setting up the emulator, I have the original tutorial video with all the settings and how to set up a guitar and everything like that. Watch that before you get to this point if you don't know what you're doing. So go ahead into options and immediately go to video settings because we're going to calibrate the lag. Once you're ready, hit calibrate and we're going to be playing our strums to the audio, not the visual note coming down. We're going to be playing to the audio. So calibrate your str time you're strumming with the beeps because that is the most important part of this process. And that number right there, remember 84 milliseconds, all right? If you're not sure about it, you can recalibrate, but I think that was a pretty accurate test, so let's keep it at 84. Right now, we're going to be using our Clone Hero folder for our customs in Guitar Hero 2. I found it pretty easy to set up a specific folder just for Guitar Hero 2 customs converted from Clone Hero. So I just sit here with two Windows Explorer windows. I'm just going to go find a song that I want to convert. Hey, you know what? Let's do, let's do Intervals Libra, all right? So what I'm going to do here is right click, copy, go to my CH songs for Guitar Hero 2 folder, right click, paste. So now we're going to go inside the folder that we just pasted and we're going to go to the song.ini file. Now we're going to look for a line called delay and make sure you kept that number written down because we're going to, so we go ahead and hit save and then we can X out of it. Also, if you open up your song.ini file and it doesn't have the delay, um, what you're going to do is just go to the end, make a new line by hitting enter and type in delay equals and then your calibration number. Um, so also, some customs may have a delay built in. Just do some simple math. Pull up a calculator if you're you really can't do it in your head. That's fine. Um, just yeah, just apply some common sense there. You got that 84 or whatever your calibration is. Tack that onto any existing delay there if it's not zero. So now remember we just changed the song.ini of Libra. We're gonna go ahead and open up the batch process in Onyx once again. And we're gonna just drag our newly edited song into the songs tab. So if you want to add multiple custom songs, you can do so right now. Uh, I have a whole bunch that I can actually slide in there right now. You can see right there, got a whole bunch. and. From early, an earlier stream, we can actually add all of these, too. Now, another thing to note is, uh, what is the song limit on Guitar Hero 2? So, the song limit on Guitar Hero 2, this specific version, is roughly around 200, over 200. If you go above 200 or even hit 250, things might get a little bit laggy. The emulator might start messing up. I know for a fact on real hardware, it starts to lag when you're scrolling through. Um, but nonetheless, we can get started on converting. So after you have all the songs that you wish to have on your Guitar Hero 2 game, you can click on the Guitar Hero 2 tab and then click 
add to PS2 arc as bonus songs. You don't need to have make practice audio for PS2 because this version of the game does not use practice mode audio, um, unlike you know the stock version of Guitar Hero 2. So if you don't know what this is, you don't need to click it. So we're gonna click add to GH2 PS2 arc as bonus songs. Folder that we made in the beginning called GH2DX files. These are the ones that we extracted from the ISO in the beginning. You're gonna click on gen and main underscore zero arc and hit open. And Onyx is gonna sit here and do its thing. So we'll come right back when this is all done. And be patient. This process takes quite a bit of time, especially if you're doing like 70 plus songs. Personally, I only recommend doing like 10, maybe 20 at a time at most. But for the sake of getting a disc out just for myself, I did 71, which in all honesty, I kind of regret. <laughs> so once that is done, that batch process is done, uh, you can make sure that everything's looking okay by showing the created files. And then you can see the arc right there. It went from 400 megabytes to 2.11 gigs. So if you don't remember from last tutorial, we use IMG burn to make our ISOs. So you're gonna open up IMG burn and click create image file from files and folders, select all of these, drag in here, and then we save it to somewhere that we want to. So in this case, in this case, I have a whole folder full of uh, PlayStation 2 ISOs. So I'm going to just call this GH2 DX, uh, I don't know, uh, Customs 1. And then we can hit Save, hit the button, hit Yes, hit OK, and then we wait. And operation completed. And if we go into PCSX2, go to CD DVD, Browse. GH2DX Customs Boot. And now that you're in Guitar Hero 2 Deluxe Custom Edition, at the top of the screen, I'm gonna have the unlock all cheat code, which I'm gonna put in and fail, but get it right on this time. There we go. Go into free play, and boom, there we go. We have all of our new songs here. And uh, just to prove that the latency worked, I'm gonna play Libra right now. And I'm gonna have my, I'm gonna keep my I'm gonna keep my external audio on so that you can hear uh, that everything is in sync. So I'm gonna put on focus mode, put on my hyperspeed real quick. We're just gonna play the first couple of seconds of this song. So That's all that she wrote, folks. That feels fantastic. That feels perfect. Honestly, uh, I wouldn't have it any other way. And if you were wondering how you can add even more songs after you build the ISO, just repeat the process. Mount the ISO, extract the files, import with Onyx to the ARC, and rebuild the ISO. Let's see some Guitar Hero 2 Deluxe stuff in 2021 and the future to come. Thank you guys so much for watching, and have an awesome time playing customs on Guitar Hero 2 Deluxe Custom Edition. Have a good day.